Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, you guys uh, remember on the last episode, we went ahead and built up this bot right here. It's primarily a Venture bot. It has a lot of these Venture Fire rifles on the front and on the side over here, at least on this side anyways. This side still needs to get a nice little improvement and has some extra pieces that we're hoping to add on to things later down the road. It also has some lights down here, which are going to be one of the first things that go. Actually, you know what? While we're looking at that, let's just go ahead and put those down here on the front. I kind of like that idea. It gives me a little bit more light and it stops the smaller bots from completely going underneath me, which are just a hassle for some of the bigger bots that I've designed. This one, not so much because it's fast, but we're going to continue. There is a, a base over here that uh, does not belong to us. It still belongs to the enemy. We're going to take him out. Holy crap, what is that over there? That is big. I don't know what that is. It looks like a Geocore, maybe? Yeah, it has to be. That size is just... Uh, it's pretty large, and there's a lot of bots over there. So let's clear this out. Let's definitely get a hold of this base first. Because this guy is so big and I don't have enough wheels on him yet, it is, uh, it's a lot heavier than it used to be. And I don't know if they changed the, I don't know if they changed the, uh, the graphics, or not the graphics, but the, the way the, holy crap, here he comes. He's coming right for me, guys. Man, that dude is fast. He is wicked. Okay, we definitely have to take that on. Okay, let's get over here before he destroys what's left of, uh, my base. Maybe we can, uh, get behind him? And do some damage before he sees us? Now, one thing that I definitely want to get, but holy crap. Crap, guys. The way that explodes, I, yeah, I think the, the jury's in on that one. I'm not a big fan of it. Every time it happens, it seems to uh, just shock me. And my first reaction is, no, now I have to go pick up all those pieces. It, uh, it sucks. Sucks. Something, something fierce. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna bear with it and see if we can... We can, uh, you know, make it work somehow. Let's see. We're going to do this, I think. Come on. Let's go out to the right direction. Doesn't seem to want to go out the way I want it to. There we go. You are perfect, little dude. And one thing that you could also do is change the color of the blocks by rotating them. That's why I like the, uh, the Venture one so much is there's a lot of variations to what you can do with it just on the same block alone. It's not as restricted as, say, like the uh, Geocore you have what you have there there are no different colors that you can play around with why did he have no big wheels not one huh that uh that kind of sucks but we're gonna we're gonna take this we're gonna use it let's see i need to be able to uh throw another one of these things down over here and i do need to fix this one so it's the right color let's see come on there we go one more and this one will be underneath it and i think what we'll do with this one is change the color to go out like that and that way I can put that on there and it's still even with the other ones yet it goes out a little further I'm not gonna pick up all these small wheels I was kinda holding on to them because my idea was that uh, you know eventually I'll be able to use those to improve this bot but I already have I think three on my guy and we're, we're finding way too many of them and we're not using any of them so yeah we're just gonna kinda hold off on that now, these lights, I am not going to put on a good spot, but I'm going to put, like, underneath my bot just to see how well they illuminate the uh, the ground because I'm not putting anything under there just yet. Later on, once I have the weapons, I definitely will be adding weapons underneath, but until I get to that point, it's, it's all fair game right now. So, yeah, it does not back up very slowly at all. I need more wheels here in the back if I want that to happen, and I don't really have the blocks to allow that, do I? Maybe... Maybe I might be able to do something weird with this. Let's see. Let's see if we can go straight down, maybe. Come on, straight down. There we go. Straight down. Is that too far down? Mm, I think it might be. Let's put the wheel here and see if it raises it up too much. I think that might be level, though. No, that's, that's too far down by one, I think. So let's pick that up. We'll move it further back. Let it go. No, come on. Back, back, back. Yeah, there we go. And that way I can put more wheels on there. I think it's because I'm on a hill that it's not lining up perfectly. If it's not the case, of course, we, we can always move it and uh, line it up the way it should be. Let's see. Can we put these in here? Yes, we can. And you should come over here. There we go. And let's put this back here as well, right on the inside. That way we can do a little bit more with the wheels. Again, this is just an attempt to give my bot a little bit more speed 
and control. It's not moving as efficiently as I was hoping it would. So maybe by putting these back here, it give it that little nice little push that we want. As soon as we get to uh, level land, <laughs> we don't we don't have uh, level land. It's not going to be able to make that traction. Ooh, and there's a battery that still survived. So we'll use that, and we'll keep going back further. Mm, it might be too far back to be honest, but we don't have the big wheels to put on the side, so not really something to uh, to get too concerned with. Why isn't the primarily most of my wheels are not touching the ground, and it's stuck? Yeah, it was stuck on that piece. Okay, so we will. No, come on. Jeez, there we go. Let's grab this battery. And, of course, we will be staying out here for a little while longer trying to find, you know, more bad guys to kill. That's not a good spot for that. Not even close. Where do we want this little dude? Somewhere safe. Maybe in here? There we go. Nice and safe there. And, of course, it does look like a little hodgepodge of of uh, different items that are kind of going all over the place. Not exactly, exactly uh, symmetrical just yet. But that's one of the things you have to deal with as you, you know, build up your bot is it may not always be perfect yet, but it may, uh, you know, one day will be if you uh, keep it going. Hmm. No, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to make that one self-sufficient. I'm not going to give it a solar reactor and some, some shield bubbles. Of course, that is always your option if you want to go that route. That one is actually pretty good already. Let me just reattach some of this stuff to it. Now, what does it have? Anything that I do not have yet. It has a cab right there, right? Compact, complete base. Okay, so it does have a cab. What else is in there? Let me zoom out a little bit more. Um, batteries. Yeah, that's that's something I've seen before. What is this? Okay, so that is the... Uh, the recycler? No, that's not the recycler. That is the, uh, the thing that makes stuff. Okay, so we don't need that. We don't need... What is this item right here? I wish they would fix the the little descriptions that used to pop up those are not here anymore when you hover above an item a lot of the time the uh, the item name does not come above its head like it used to so not really a big fan of that let me go ahead and attach this we don't really need another one just yet although it is getting power even though it's not connected so that's kind of weird uh, we're going to definitely put some weapons on this sucker if we can uh, put them going in the right direction that would be even better actually Let's go ahead and put that here. No, if it's not connected, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to attack back. It needs that bot. It needs, uh, you know, the AI module or something on there. And these weapons are probably not going to do anything. They're not facing the right way. They're all facing down for some reason. That's the, the default over here. Unless, of course, I turn them myself. But I don't really feel like doing that at the moment. So that's just going to be extra work for me to, to mess around with. Oh, yes. I love the fact that we sprang for the extra battery. I think that's what's weighing my bot down a lot, and I think that's why it's going a lot slower than it normally would be going. But I don't have to sit there and repair nearly as much, and that is making it all worthwhile for me. Oh, look at this. This guy's been out uh, harvesting. I know a lot of you have actually told me that I should do that. I should build a bot that just goes out or either protects me or harvest. To be honest, I've tried it a few times. In fact, I tried it not too long ago. And they still do the exact same thing they've always done to me, which is just ram me from behind. It's really annoying, and I absolutely hate it. I hate the way those things work. They they just get in my way something fierce. And until that works better, or until you know I see a video, if one of you guys have a, a, a video out there of somebody you watch that has done it perfectly that can give me some pointers on it, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. It probably is, is the case since a lot of you swear by it. But until that happens... I'm not using those dudes. They are just freaking, they're a pain. They're a pain in my butt and not worth it at all. Of course, so yeah, you can get right in there and, and slow me down a little bit. We'll put that on there too. Maybe we can do two. Two of them is, uh, is not bad, right? Oh, wow. Look at all that stuff. There goes the explosion. And that was his uh, fuel tank blowing up all over the place. No, don't, don't blow up. Don't blow up. Oh, okay. That got me a little bit, guys. Got me quite a bit, actually. And I'm glad I didn't have any fuel tanks back there. Because, holy crap, this guy, when he explodes, he's going. He's going big time. Oh, man. Can I get any of your fuel tanks, maybe? I doubt it. You're trying to get behind me. You're trying to get behind me. Oh, no, no, no. Move, move, move. <laughs> Don't be there. Oh, my God. So much stuff in such a huge area. Okay, can we get any of this? Yes, we can. We got some wheels. 
definitely going to pick up the big wheels. I love these things. These things give me so much traction. Um, yeah, I guess we can do that for now until I find a, uh, a better place for it. Uh, no, we can't do that. It won't, won't move anywhere if we do that. Okay, so... Oh, yes, another block. Come on, come on, come on. Pick it up, pick it up. We have a lot of weapons, and I do love getting my weapons because that makes me feel a lot better, and it stops them from coming and trying to get me from behind the more weapons I put back here. Although you can see that's usually the last place that I put it because it's one of the last places I let them, uh, you know, get close to me. So I usually don't try to uh, cover it too much unless I'm having a problem with it. And of course, you can see my shields are down. So two big fights is uh, pretty much all that uh, I was able to do without having to recharge all over again. So let's do what we did last time, which is throw these things down. I'm going to put one here. And uh, we'll put one over here a little further away from it. And that way we can be close to one of them, you know, at uh, at a time maybe. Uh, you know, they're pretty close, so they, it's probably not going to work that well. But it is worth a shot. Let's see which way are we going to go. We're going to go further back. Actually, I don't want to go back that far. I want to go in a little bit more. Keep it a little bit more, you know, instead of going lengthwise, we're going to go wide. Because I haven't really done that too much. I always go you know, too far back, and it makes it just incredibly difficult to get over hills, and uh, just not a big fan of doing that anymore. <laughs> I think I had my fill of it for a while, and, uh, you know, with the big bots, they really are amazing, but they come with issues all their own. What is this? Oh, okay, we, we may be able to do that there on the front. I, I didn't like the other one. It gets stuck very, very easy, but I don't know. I kind of like the look of it. Maybe throw it there on the front just for now until we find something else to... Uh, to replace it with uh, more of those uh, stud lasers. Stud lasers, I tell you what, guys, those are some of the best weapons you can get in this game because they go in, for me anyways, they go in places that are kind of awkward for most other weapons. And they really, really do a lot of damage if uh, if placed in the right spot. And, of course, if you're you know running straight at an enemy and you have all those on the front, or if he comes up from behind you and you have ton of, a ton of those in the back, you're going to just sit there and wreck the guy. And that's exactly what you want. You don't want them to, you know, have an advantage over you, you know, one way or the other, especially when you're, you know, kind of getting shot from behind. That's already, you know, a big no-no. You really don't want them to do that, uh, even in the least. And so, yeah, when you let them kind of get that foothold back there, holy crap, there is another bot up there That's uh, that's pretty big. Let's see. Do we have a shield, a repair bubble right there? Okay. I need to go back and I need to find my my uh, chargers before it gets nighttime and have them charge this up just a tad bit before we go up there. Come on, guys. Charge up. I need to repair quite a bit. That's going to be one of the reasons you see the batteries kind of light up and then shut down again, light up and shut down, is because they're using all the battery power that they get from... Uh... Oh, look at that. They actually turn around in the direction you need. That's kind of cool. I didn't know they did that. Why does this has wisp behind it? It's almost like it's still being used. Like it's still going through the sky. It has those little lines over it. You can kind of see it over here. Like it's still getting that lift from the speed, but it's not getting that anymore because it's not moving. So it's kind of bugged out there. Don't know if I should pick it up or not. It's almost like if I pick it up, I could become bugged out myself. We're going to take this guy on, although he's not going to really have anything we're going to use because I'm not really feeling like using the uh, the geo core although it might help to have maybe one or two of those wheels to offset the weight i might throw them here in the center and uh yeah i might do that i might get rid of the wheels here on the center and throw some of the geo core ones in there and then just go with the venture all the way around because that will probably help my bot out you know dramatically with the weight problem that it has and it will allow me to go up in the center a little bit more with the blocks that i want to go with and then what is this? Is this a... It might be a repair bubble out there. Let me go check that out real quick. Because it seems like my guy is okay for a second. What is this? Nope, it's a shield. Okay, so we'll put that there in the back where we kind of get hit a lot. And that's going to help us out. What is this over here? Uh, no, that's not what we're looking for. Okay, so let's put this back here. We'll move this back up to the front where we definitely need all the extra protection we can possibly get. Let's see, where are our batteries at? I'm going to wait into the batteries are at three because you got to remember it's not just a whole bunch of small batteries it's this big freaking battery right here and three lines on the battery 
that's a decent amount of power. That's actually quite a bit. So while that's going on, I'm going to redesign this a little bit, get it ready for those big wheels that are coming in here. Let's see, where can I put these? I can put one back here on the side. And I can, of course, move... Can I move these without everything popping away? I can. Let's see, we'll put the wheel back there for now. We'll move this to the back where I kind of want extra blocks anyways. You are going to come up here for now and you you know what let's let's move this here and this one here until of course we can come back and space them out i don't want them that close at all but uh you know right now i don't really have that much of a choice uh in the matter if i want to uh to be able to fit the wheels in there this side actually can be spaced out a little bit more until of course i put those wheels there okay so that's that's actually not too bad actually you know what Maybe we should leave that the way it was. Maybe we should leave that the way it was so that over here on this side, we can uh, we can put the wheels. I think that might be a better method. Okay, so we're going to do that. Let's bring that back down. Put that back down. Mm, we'll put the wheels back in here. I do apologize, guys. It's kind of one of those things you might have to uh, mess around with, you know, the, the bot design before you find the one that you particularly like the best. And... I kind of like that. You know, it's one of those things where if you don't play around with it, you can kind of get locked into it. I know I do at times get locked into a design and be like, okay, that's, that's good enough for me. I don't really need to, you know, do anything else. I like this design. It works very well for me. It's only until you lose your bot or something bad happens. Ooh, what is this over here? Is this uh, something I need to discover or it's already been discovered? Yeah, it's already been discovered. Okay, so let's see if we can take this guy on. But yeah, I get locked into things uh, really, really easy sometimes. Come on, put that back on there. Of course, this is the perfect time to be messing with the wheel is when this dude is coming after me. Come on, no, 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 no. Wow, that wheel is uh, taking some damage. No, he's hitting the back of my bot, which is uh, completely vulnerable, and I cannot move for some reason. It will not let me move. I'm stuck on something. And uh, come on, let me move. Boosters? Boosters to the rescue? Yes. Okay. Come on, let me get far enough away, far enough away. Yeah, baby. Okay. Wow, I took a lot of damage on that that I didn't need to. Thankfully, nothing got destroyed. And now I can sit here and destroy him at my leisure. Oh, yeah, look at that, guys. I am wrecking him. Okay, I got your will. Let's see, what else do you have in there? Anything that I want? Because at this moment, this is the time to look at it and be like, do I really need to go all out? Should I destroy him or should I be a little bit more cautious and maybe pick up some of those items that are easily destroyed because there are items off of these guys especially the bigger ones that uh you kind of have to be careful with otherwise you're going to lose it let's see if you watch some of the other videos that i had i was taking on venture uh, bots primarily there and they had all these gas tanks on them and it just uh yeah they were just getting destroyed over and over and over again and nothing i did really seemed to stop them like i was even being you know extra cautious and only doing like one attack at a time and it just seemed like the luck would have it that uh yeah they just blew up every single time i fired my weapon and it was kind of heartbreaking for a while there to uh to see that happen so that's too high up so what we're gonna have to do is uh put another block up here maybe and connect it to that no that's not even on the ground anymore okay so we're gonna have to put a block right here how about that oh yeah yeah that's perfect right there and we can do the same thing in here we're gonna have to get rid of both of these and get this out here on the side okay so how are we gonna do this one more block actually let's use two blocks i hate using the gso ones right now uh, it's kind of changing the design of my bot a little bit but if you're not you know flexible if you don't allow yourself to take advantage of the pieces that you do have when you have them and then later on go back and change it, you're going to kind of run into problems. You're not going to be able to do the bots that you might want to otherwise do. Okay, so right there is where I went to the side. So I need to move this one, right? That's that's exactly where it went off. Yeah. And we're going to use GSO. It's going to make it heavy, a little heavier than the other side at least. But we're going to come out and we're, gonna, we're definitely going to do this right here. And this is where we're going to, of course stick the other ones that we just got let's see how many do we have two right yeah just two more but they're huge guys these things are freaking massive and they're made for massive bots oh man we're gonna have to move all those weapons 
Okay, well, all those weapons are now going to be facing towards the front, which means my bot is going to be a beast when it comes to firing forward. When it comes to any other side, and there's going to be some issues. But uh, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it, and hopefully it won't cause uh, some serious issues uh, when it comes to us getting destroyed. I mean, it probably will, but, you know, I'm hoping for the best here. And the reason I don't have my, my uh, solar generators down right now is because we can't use them. We don't have the uh, the sun up, so there's no reason to put those down and risk them getting destroyed, as well as, uh, you know, kind of slow us down when we want to move. Let's put that up one. We'll move up one right there. That's the way it's nice and even up here. Actually, no, that was more the way it was back there. Okay, so let's move back one right there. and Maybe we'll move that right there. Okay, so what do we have here in the front? Okay, we have the the repair bubbles. That's what I want to put up here. Let's snag those and put those here in the front. Actually, uh, we don't want them down. We want them up because we want them nice and protected. If we put them down, it may be a little too easy for the enemy to get up there. And I do like how the lights aren't using power. It's kind of weird that they don't, but I'm kind of glad that they don't as well because uh, that would just be one extra thing that would uh, would eat my power even faster. So I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't have to do that. Let's see. Okay, so that's how we did it right over there. And this one is going to have to go down. Come on. Go down. And I'll have to replace this block in the front right here in a second as soon as I move these weapons off because I need... Oh, crap. How am I going to do that? Okay, I can put one underneath it. And that will connect it. And then I can replace that. Nope, that still didn't do it. Because it wasn't connected to anything on top. So I guess we just have to do it all over again anyways. Yeah, it's one of the problems you run into if it's not connected to something in the long run. If it's not connected to anything at all, it's going to you know pop right off. And everything that it's connected to will pop off as well. Unless it has some sort of uh, you know connection further back. And we've run into that issue a couple times. You guys have seen that you know happen. I don't really know how to stop that if you don't have the, the pieces. You know, you're kind of going out here and collecting the pieces as you get a, as you go along. You're just, uh, yeah, like I said, be, be flexible. Don't uh, try to paint yourself into a corner and be very upset with it and be like, oh, it's not working the way I want it to. Uh, this game sucks. You know, it's 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 a work in progress, and it's kind of a core work in progress, if you ask me. So let's see. Does that line up the way it should? Yes, it does. It lines up. It doesn't look as good on this side because it's not the same color, but that's all right. We'll fix that one day down the road maybe if we have the right pieces let's connect that so it's all nice and neat um you know what i'm gonna put another wheel up here on the front because we have it actually we need to move that back let's put that back right there so it lines up perfectly three wheels there one two three okay so maybe not as many one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we got an invader coming, and he's going to spawn right on top of us. So let's go ahead and back up, because we do not have any of our shields up. And that's going to be a problem. So if you can get right outside of the level or his uh, his zone right there, he will usually not attack you. Although, because it's flat out here, I'm going to get a little further away. This guy is probably going to come at me in a second. So I need to get a little further away from him. And let's go ahead and put down our, our uh, shield not a shield, but our solar reactors, and start, you know, repairing up. I am going to go ahead and end the video here, guys, and in between this video, get all the way back up to full, move my shield generators and repair bubbles around a little bit because I have some extra ones. As you can see, I have two over here, and I don't have any shield or repair bubbles over here. I might actually go ahead and buy another two or three, as well as some batteries to, uh, to boot to give it a little bit extra you know security when we're fighting a big guy like that but guys i want to thank you all for watching if you do enjoy this video be sure to hit that like button subscribe i do see over here on the side there is a new item that we haven't discovered so that's going to be on the next video as well i don't recognize the shape of it i don't know what that is to be honest the sun's right there in the eyes so it's kind of hard to see but it looks completely foreign to me i don't know what that is it's going to be interesting but guys thanks again for watching and i will definitely catch you all next time